The programming language called C++ is a powerful programming language used to build system software, application software and games. It is an extension of the C programming language, adding more high-level features like object-oriented programming, template functions and exception handling. C++ is a language that is widely used in building system software, such as operating systems, device drivers and compilers. Also, C++ plays a significant role in developing application software. With its high performance, versatility and the ability to handle complex tasks, C++ is a perfect choice for these types of applications. Trading platforms and risk management systems are built using C++. We also have aircraft software, spacecraft, scientific simulation and enterprise software. C++ can also be used to build embedded systems, because it has the ability to control hardware resources. Smartphones, cameras, ECUs, robotic systems are all built using the C++ language. In C++, a namespace is a collection of names or identifiers like functions, classes and variables. These identifiers are defined inside the STD namespace. This namespace offers useful components like algorithms for searching and sorting, containers, input-output functionalities, and iterators. Let us see how a basic C++ program is written. It all starts by including the IO stream header file. It is defined inside the STD namespace and it provides us with input and output functionalities. Then comes the main function. It is a very important function that must be included because the main function acts as a starting point for the execution of the program. To use the components offered by the std namespace, we need to use the following notation. This tells C++ that we are using a component from the std namespace, for example cout. This is an output functionality provided by the io stream header file from the std namespace. There is a lot of other header files you can include in your C++ program, like io-manip, cstdlib, ssstream and much more. In C++, the programmer can create header files. They are used to separate the interface from the implementation. Like, if you want to create a class, you can declare that class inside a header file which you only provide the declaration of your class, data members and function members. In another CPP file, you will link the header file with it and there you will add the implementation of your functions, making sure that you add the name of the class followed by the scope resolution operator, just like what we did with the std, that tells C++ that this function belongs to this class. Let us talk about some key features of C++. C++ offers low-level capabilities. It allows developers to directly manipulate elements inside the memory, through pointers for example, which points to a certain address of a value inside the memory. Also, there is dynamic memory allocation, where you can allocate space inside a memory for a value accessed by a pointer. Also, you can deallocate the created space to free up memory and discard the value. Despite all of that, C++ offers high-level capabilities, like classes and objects, which organizes your code inside classes, making it look more modular. Also, there is exception handling, allowing you to use try and catch, to try a statement and handle the error if there is one. So, C++ is considered not a pure low-level language, nor a pure high-level language, but somewhere in the middle. First, you need to install an IDE like VS Code to be able to write C++ code. Then, you need to install the C++ compiler. To do that, you can navigate to this website that tells you step by step on how to install the compiler via MSYS2 and configure the compiler inside VS Code. Once that is done, VS Code will recommend you to install the extensions needed and after that, run your first Hello World program. And this is it about C++. What are your thoughts about it? Make sure to comment below. Thank you for watching. I hope it was valuable to you. Make sure to click on one of these videos that will appear right now and I hope to see you in one of them.